So like I said, everything been different ever since my brother got locked up. My mama felt that it was best for me to get a new singer and get away from all the negativity. And with that choice, she made me go to college. Wherever, whenever, we gon' make it through anything if we stick together. It doesn't matter where we from, it's alright. My brother, I'ma hold you down the rest of my life. Time don't stop for no one. So come together, realize that we in the hood right now. These are the hood vows. Shit, being in school really did keep my mind off a lot of shit. But I don't know how long this peaceful shit gon' last. Shit, to be honest, I ain't really wanna go to college, but my mama wanted me to so I can get away from the negativity. I know since I'm still close to home, trouble will find my way. It always do. Shit, but since coming to college, the scenery sleek been the same. I see a lot of niggas I grew up with here, and they all be on the same time, just trying to make it. My schedule pretty much is the same every day. Shit, go to class, sleep, and keep a low profile. Because where I'm from, the business spread around fast. It just so happened that one day, all the shit I ran away from caught up to me. Shit, I know this just what come with life, and especially the life that I was living at first, but shit. I ain't tripping. God got me. Shit, I just take whatever come my way and just live and go off that. But I walked out my room, got my day started, and I ran into one of the niggas from the hood that I used to know. His name was D, but shit, all the niggas that was known for was shy this shit. Dude, the backdoor king, he backdoor everybody he was close to. But I ain't never had no problem with him. Word around town, I heard what happened to your brother. But how the fuck this shit get around that fast? I ain't even processed it for real. You know how the hood be, they be talking and shit, but shit, I know how to get to the bag. If you with it, I can get it. I ain't really coming for this shit, I came for a fresh start, shit. If I get back into this shit, I'ma fuck around and be with my brother at. I can't make you want the bread, but 15K in under 10 minutes, shit sound good to me. Ruby told it, it sound good to me too, but I can't risk it. Shit, 15K in 10 minutes, you really can't beat it. Wait for wait. wait. 15K in 10 minutes, bro? What the fuck we gotta do? Shit, me me in my crib in about an hour, bro, and I'ma tell you everything you need to know. Say less. Shit, eventually time go past, fool, and shit, I leave my room. So heading to a D room, I seen a couple niggas I knew. But shit, it's eventually gonna be good to have niggas around that you know from the hood. But shit, I eventually approached that nigga dope, and I knocked on that hood just to see what he was on. Shit, so eventually we sit down and then nigga start going down with the plan and everything. He start telling me about he seen the bit, what the bitch hit down and shit, and what nigga we eventually gonna be getting, and how much bread we gonna be getting. Like, he just need to tell me everything. So he telling me what to do, what not to do, and how everything gonna go. Shit, so we finna pop out with it. Get in or get out and get with it. It ain't no other way to this shit. Hell yeah, we finna get paid. So shit, me and D walking over there to where the little bitches is and shit. So we going over the rundown one more time before we get on it. Alright, so look, like the bitch got a little sister, like, she been trying to get on there with me for like for like a little minute. What the fuck they gotta do with me? Alright, so boom, he big got a sister. You get the sister, I get the bitch. Her nigga be going to work and shit. So this what we gonna go and get that back in. So you wanna link with his bitch, but rob her nigga. Man, this pussy ain't bread. You can't beat that. Cause so you ain't never thought to see if the hoe was saying you up or some shit. If she bringing her sister, she ain't gonna set both of us up. But for like, if she set you up and she know you, what make you think she give a fuck about setting me up and she don't even know me? If she did both, that bitch gonna die. It's overstood. Shit, as time went by, me and my nigga changed into some more comfortable cause so we can go and get ready to hit this too, man. Shit, we already know these little hoes going. But we caught an ugly ass nigga coming out the door. He holler out to his bitch, be back. You already know what's going on when I get back. Ah, man, fool, ain't that's the 1K nigga you used to who with, cuz? He, yeah, that's the 1K nigga. But what the fuck that mean? I been wanting to book his ass. Let's get on it.
Man, you shy shit as hell, fool. He, yeah, I know. Let's go see what these hoes talking about, though. Shit, so as we enter the building, fool, motherfucker pop their head out the door like a fucking jack in the box. But shit, me and bro talking shit to each other and shit, like, what we gonna do when we get in there and pop these hoes? So shit, let's go and see what this shit on. We get by the door and she motion us to come in and she jump bodaciously on the bed. Hey, it's about time you came over here. I've been trying to get at you. Bro, stop lying. If you wanted me, you would have been got on it. Boy, it's been you since high school. Boy, I'm with now. Like, he just tricking. And I'm trying to get to the bag. And why you got another nigga with you? Who the fuck she talking to? He, damn. I thought you had a bitch with my nigga. You plucking, cuz. Boy, take your dry ass on. All right, fam. I'm going to get up with you, fam. So I shake my nigga hand and walked out the door mad as hell. Shit, so as time go by, these folks up in this hoe being all flirty, flirty, and touchy, touchy. And they all on each other and shit whole time. I'm dry as a motherfucker. So I'm mad as hell. And he, shit, so what you on? You know what I'm on, shit. So what's up? The nigga out with Jay Wheat, shit, he knew down here, so he don't know what type of time I'm on. But you know what type of time I'm on. Like, you always doing this. What you want me to do? Call my nigga? Hell yeah, we can do that. But when we get through with that, we can go ahead and get back to what we was going to do later. So she climbed off his ass like, yeah, 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 yeah. You talking all this shit, but I hope you fuck better than what you talking about. So she called her nigga and shit to put her nigga on game about what D was trying to get into. And shit, this ain't like the first time this done happened. So she laid down on D when she got off the phone. And he picked his phone up and called me and was like, so it's time to get on it. I looked at my phone as it was ringing because I'm dry as hell in the hallway. And I answered that home and told his ass, say less. So shit, we running out the motherfucking building, you hear me? And we get to the door and we decide which way we gonna go. So we chose to split up. So when we pop out on that nigga, his ass got. So shit, we get to running to go find which positions we gonna get into and shit. We had already plotted the shit out earlier. This shit gonna be like taking candy from a fucking baby. If everything go right, shit, we'd be up 15K. But shit wasn't going to plan. We couldn't see the nigga or find him no fucking where. So me and D decided to relink up. So shit, at this point, we got a breath talking to each other, trying to see what the fuck went wrong or who false flagged the information. This nigga walking up behind us, and we ain't even paying attention. Y'all thought this shit was sweet? I cuz who the fuck are you? He, man, don't play dumb, nigga. I know you rhyme with that nigga trying to set me up. He like, cuz we used to hoop together. You think I'd try and set you up? He, man, you used to hoop with Davo too. And you still fuck this bitch. D like, so? <laughs> Man, fuck all that. You think my bitch was gonna tell me you plot? Um, cuz, I knew you was gonna get us into some shit, fool. I don't even know why you trying me. This shit ain't never worked for you. So try that shit again. D like, you ain't gonna blow that, huh? You ain't gonna blow it? Nah, I'm gonna take my time before you and your young nigga fall out. I'm like, fall out? To my surprise, this nigga D was setting me up the whole time and lying like we had motion. To be honest, I ain't never really fuck with your little bitch ass no way. Cuz, so it's like that, fool? It been like that, but don't take it personal, though. So now I'm sitting here looking dumb with a gun to the back of my fucking head with a nigga that I thought was locked in with me. Should I try to make a run for it? Or should I just sit here and deal with whatever consequence coming my way? Y'all let me know. On my mama. These are the hood files.